Hey, you guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to the Bible. And we're going to be talking about fruit of the spirit. And today we're going to be talking about peace, which we always need peace. Don't you wait? Love, joy. Yep, peace. We're talking about peace. But first, I've got a new song for you. So let's see if I can get it going. I've been having some problems, of course. What else is new, huh? And let's see if I can get it going. I know I'm going to have this, the ad. I always have the ad. I'm just so disgusted with that. To fly a rocket ship. You Sorry. Need to be an but you know what? This way it goes. No ask. Here we go. Ready? Get out of here. Let's hope Mrs. White can do it correctly. I did it correctly. Who knew? All right. Hello, hello. So now we're on peace. Okay. Talking about peace. And it's one of the things that we need in our lives is to have peace. And the the Bible verse, there's a couple of Bible verses that are pretty neat. Uh, because they say, if you have peace in your heart, you will have God in your heart. If you've got God, you've got peace in your heart because you know he is going to be taking care of us. So let's, uh, we're going to go over a couple more too. It says, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. You know, when we're members of God's, we're God's children, we need to have that peace, not be all upset and worried about something. You know, just have that peace. God's going to take care of it. You know, I like that. Um, in Hebrews, it says, make every effort 
to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see God. So, you know, in the Bible, it says we need to make an effort. We need to make a point of living and being peaceful with everyone. And sometimes we're not very peaceful with people. We're not very kind to people, people that maybe are different than us or people that don't listen to us or people that don't do our way, go our way. We have to live in peace with them. Okay, well, let's see what old Douglas has to say about peace. There you are. Uh-oh, what happened to my piece, Douglas? Uh-oh. Okay. Douglas, 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 what happened to peace? Okay, I found Douglas. Here he goes. Peace can only be found in God. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and uh, today we're going to be continuing in on our series of the the fruit of the Spirit, and we're going to be talking about peace. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but I am so busy. Yeah, I've got so much stuff going on in my life. I've got, I've got, you know, I've got school, and then I've got soccer practice and I've got guitar lessons and I've got stuff at church and I've got stuff at, at school and I've got stuff with my friends and I got stuff with my family and I just got stuff 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 all this stuff so much stuff in my life and it is so hard to find peace and I think that's true for so many of us we got so much stuff in our lives we're like it's like we're too busy for peace there's no way we can slow down and have that calm good feeling that is peace so few of us have peace in our lives and and, and a lot of us, we try to solve that in, you know, they, we try to solve that problem in one of two ways. One is we try to just get rid of all this stuff. We try to declutter our lives and, and do less things and, and try to just, you know, make it so we only are doing a couple things and we've just got more time to, to be still and, and to be alone and not have to do so much stuff. And the other thing people do is they try to, you know, just schedule and organize and make sure that everything is, is just so you know they've, they've got everything under control they know what they're supposed to do and they know when they're supposed to do it and they've got their calendar and everything is set up just how it's supposed to be and so they find a little bit of peace in just knowing what they're supposed to do and when they're supposed to do it and i'm not saying that it's a bad thing to try to declutter your life you know to try to to do less things so you've got more free time and, and i'm not saying that it's a bad thing to try to organize your life because it, it's good to be organized but if you're trying to find true peace in your life by by being more in control of your life, you're not going to find it. No, you won't. There's only one way to find true peace, and that is through God. The Bible says that peace is one of the fruits of the Spirit. So if you are a Christian, you have the Spirit of God living inside you, and you are living according to the Spirit, then you are just going to have peace automatically. The closer you are to God, the more peace you will have in your life. So if you're looking for more peace in your life, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need less stuff in your life, you know, less events and things like that, although that's probably a good idea. What you need, what you really, really need is more God, more Jesus, more of the Holy Spirit in your life. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would spend more time with God. And that can be all throughout your day, you know, in between things and, and during things, all throughout your day, you can be spending time with God. Spending time with God, talking to him, learning more about him, and you know, reading his word too is really important. And Just spend time with God and do the things that God wants you to do. Live according to the Spirit, because the closer you are to God, the more peace you will have in your life. Because true peace comes only from God. Awesome. Okay, I loved it. True peace only comes from God. Just like the fruits of the Spirit, those are gifts, but those are gifts that only come from God. So sometimes when we get worried about things and there's a lot to do and I'm not sure what to do and I've got, you know, things going at home and things going here and things going with my friends and, oh my gosh, all my grading's not done. Ah! <sighs> Gotta, you know, Lord, just give me your peace. Let me calm down. Let me pray. Let me maybe read a little of my Bible here for me to know 
that you've got my back. You are going to give me that peace and I can calm down and take care of everything because that peace comes from God. And if we don't have that peace, we're not a child of God. And that's what, you know, I was just looking up here on, on here, you know, we need to cast our, our prayers and our anxiety at him and he will give us peace. So I loved it. That Douglas is a kick. I love him. So anyway, how about, um, let's pray. All right. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your love for us. Lord, we just pray that during the day and when we're doing our work and our homework and things are getting a little crazy, Lord, that we take a deep breath and just ask for your help and maybe give a, do a prayer with you and you will give us peace to feel calm inside and then just do one thing at a time. So I just ask for that for all of us, Lord God. I, I also ask for prayers for, um, all of our leaders to help us during this virus time to do the right thing on being out and about and, you know, just have them give us the right instructions of what to do and also that we may have some common sense too. So Lord God, once again, thank you for dying on the cross for us so that one day we will be in heaven with you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, darlings, I will see you later. Bye.